so if I threw in like a six milligram knickknack to do some deep work or whatever, which is what I like to do, how long should it, should I feel the positive effects of the nicotine in my system? How long would you say? It obviously depends on tolerance and everything. Like for you, how long would you feel it for? Um, I mean, I think, I think for most people, nicotine has a half life of about 45 minutes. You know, that, that can be a little bit longer. You know, we, it just, it's, it's very similar to caffeine. Mm -hmm. You have people that have like, that are really good caffeine metabolizers and you have some people that are a, bit, a little bit slower. Uh, caffeine on the other hand though, is, you know, five to six hour half life, whereas, mm -hmm nicotines 45 minutes to two hours um i use the threes that's that's my personal preference yeah um i find that the effects of the nicotine i can feel for probably one or two hours nice. you know really 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 one hour is when i'm really feeling it um you know if i'm having a really crazy day i might i might chain knack a little bit yeah <laughs> chain knack i like that <laughs> <laughs> but i don't do that too often and yeah. I, you know i take breaks too and all that but you know, I think we, I think it's one of those things where, you know, nicotine makes you feel good. It is addictive. Yeah. You know, I, you know we could, I think there's a lot of arguments to be made about how addictive it really is. Mm. Um, but, you know, and yeah, just like anything else, can't, you can't, you don't want to overdo it. Yeah. Yeah. I think a part of it is like, you just have to know how you're wired where my vice has always just been stimulants, like primor primarily caffeine. And I just love that feeling of just being so locked in in that flow state. So like with a product like a knickknack or something or, or caffeine, I find that like from the time like I wake up and I'm ready to go, like I want to throw one or two of them in and just kind of like do it all day long. And it's something that I need to like, I, I don't think it's for me, it's not the substance. It's more so like my relationship to it because I just am someone that just loves to be in that like dopamine infused state of just like crushing work. Um, and there's people like Tucker Carlson too, where he literally <laughs> says from the time he wakes up to the time he goes to bed, he has his in in his mouth throughout the entire day. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of people that, you know, they just, they have a nicotine drip. Um, and there's, there could be a lot of reasons for that. You know, I think, um, you know, I have a cousin for example, and this is purely anecdotal, <laughs> but he's got hardcore ADD. Yeah. And so he has a knickknack in, you know, 24 seven. Um, so some, for some people, that's what it takes. And so, I mean, and those people tend to be just like super metabolizers too. Yeah. And this is part of the reason why we need a lot more research in humans. Yeah. You know, it's like we have, we're starting to get nicotine research outside of the context of smoking, but still most of it is like animal models. So we definitely need more research in humans. Um, but so, so hopefully we'll get there, but, um, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I love the way nicotine makes me feel. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's awesome. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's, it's, I've certainly have overdone it before too. So it's one of those things, all things in moderation and, you know, also learning to appreciate like downtime too. Cause, mm -hmm. it, cause it, it is, it's also addicting to get into those flow states. Like for sure. Definitely. Like, to hit, like the, like hitting the afterburners when you really get oh after it. It's, it is seriously one of the best feelings in the world. It really is. We're but, like, <laughs> but we're, it's easy to overdo. Yeah. We're like nothing else matters besides like you just being locked in and doing that work, especially as a founder too. Right. Oh, Where yeah. it's like, you feel like you have the weight of the world on your shoulders. When, when you're br having breakthroughs and you're jamming, <laughs> oh, it's the best. <laughs> yeah, and, you, and it's just like win after win, like oh, sales yeah. call after sales call. Totally. Um, so for you, how do you like to like structure like your nicotine usage where like you're getting the best bang for your buck, you don't feel like you're knack chaining too much? Because <laughs> um, that is a thing, right? It's like how do I use nicotine to, I, to achieve that optimal flow state? Totally. Uh, I mean, going back to like the experimentation side of me, I like to do experiments and push the limits and kind of find out where my boundaries are. You are a biohacker at I, heart. <laughs> yeah, you are. In a lot of ways. Yeah. In a lot of ways. And so, so you know, the, the biggest thing that I always tell people is go slow and listen to your body. Like, not everyone has to do crazy stuff. Like, I think that's the easiest way to do it. Listen to your body. Go slow. You know, we don't, I don't think there's research, you know, showing that there's the right amount for anyone. Um, so... That's what I would say for for most people. For me, I think it's been fun to mess with. I mean, one of the experiments I just did was, you know, can I use a whole can in a day and then the next day not have any? Mm. And and uh, I actually ended up taking like a multi week break after like getting building up my tolerance a ton, and then I just stopped to see what it was like. And uh, and I kind of referenced that earlier, but it, at least for me, it wasn't it wasn't a big yeah. deal at all. I didn't have any withdrawals. I felt totally fine. You know, I missed like getting into that flow state as aggressively, which is, yeah, you know, my anecdotal experience. Um, but 
and this and this is yeah the, the irony was i missed it actually the most when i was like relaxing and yeah. socializing that was that was kind of funny that was when i missed it the most but other than that it wasn't really that big of a deal for me 